Hi everybody, it's Tom. I told you I'd be back for another Rip in the Piss. I've got another little video here that someone sent me. I have not got a clue what it's about. So I'm going to give it a look. I'm going to press it now. We're going to start now. Enjoy. And that's your blur. This is disturbing video of a man with a mental disability that cops say was gagged and tortured for everyone to see on Facebook Live. But it was sick. It still amazes me how you still see things that you, you just should. Chicago police say four teenagers, two women and two men whose names have not yet been released, are responsible. The man, who is an acquaintance of one of the suspects, was reported missing and believed to be with them for 24 to 48 hours, according to police. It's quite a possibility it is a kidnapping, um, and that's certainly one of the charges we'll be seeking if it uh, turns out to be that. Cops believe the victim was eventually let go. An officer saw him outside wearing shorts and looking disoriented. Smack. Smack his ass again. Uh, smack, smack him again. Smack, smack him again. Smack him again. Smack him again. Give him that pimp smack, shorty. Investigators are looking into whether this violence recorded for 30 minutes, now taken off social media, was a hate crime. One of the suspects can be heard screaming this. Donald Trump. Five people. What? The victim was taken to the hospital and has been released, though cops say he's traumatized. Charges are expected soon. I've got a second one to watch. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch them both before I like ram them. So they need to be watched because that first one's actually disturbed me, made me feel quite mad. So I'm gonna watch the second one now and go and watch it now. It's really, really disturbing, and it's it's a damn right liberty that there's people on our streets that do this to people, especially when they're they're mentally challenged. It's it's wrong, it's disgusting, and it's shameful. And going back to the first video, this one boy was attacked by four other people, two women, two men. You know what I mean? They should be fucking locked up and bruised. That's all I can say. They should be ashamed of what they did. And they're lucky that I fucking went there. That is just so wrong. And the reason they beat him up weren't because he was mentally challenged. They beat him up because he was a Trump supporter. That's just even more fucked up. Sorry. But I hope they're all in prison now, all four of them. And I hope they're being fucking passed around the cells. Because by the time they get out, their assholes will be the same size as the Grand fucking Canyon. Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. I hope if there's a God. And on top of that, if they won't have been arrested, I hope everywhere they go in this world, someone knocks them the fuck out. Because that's what they deserve when they when they pick on people like this that cannot fight back. They didn't even know what was going on. This is what's so bad about this. Anyway, I'm gonna talk talk about the second video because this is really like bothered me. I mean the second kids are standing there being nice. Trying to, trying to make friends. I mean, it's, it's disgusting that we're living in a world like this where people, and he runs up to him and smashes him in the fucking face. I mean, who does that? And then when the kid's trying to run away, he carries on smashing him in the face and his little fucking friend just sits there laughing his ass off. Yeah, you'd laugh your fucking ass off if I'd been there because I'd rip your fucking eyeballs out and piss on your fucking skull. Pricks. I'm angry. This should not be allowed to happen in this world that we're living in now, where people like that get picked on because they're different. It's shameful, it's wrong, and it's disgusting. And people like me and everyone else in the world that's decent should not put up with this. And there should be more heroes in the world. I would like to have seen someone run over there and smash them in the face for doing this to these people. It's not on, it's terrible. And I know my show's about ripping the piss, 
and taking the piss out of people, but I do it to people that deserve it, not people that don't deserve it and should never be put in this situation. I mean, hand on heart, I would spend a whole day with these people, no problem. I'd have a great time with them. Why? Because they're great people to be around. I, I call them a little gift from God, you know what I mean? Because their heart's full of gold. And they don't want to hurt no one. All they want to do is be your friend. And you do that to them. Take the mick out of them. And I hope these kids that did this are really, really suffering bad for it. Because they're lucky I weren't there because they would be hurting, believe me. Right, before I end that show, I just want to... I found this video of the guy they attacked. And I just want to quickly watch it because he's done all right at the end of it. A Philadelphia man, meantime, was honored today for his courage after he was assaulted while trying to catch a bus, actually. Last month, a video was posted on social media of Mark Smith getting sucker punched by a group of juveniles. Smith, who is intellectually disabled, hasn't spoken about the incident. The Delaware County organization Teach Anti-Bullying awarded Smith with a medal and also a signed photo of his absolute favorite sports star, Golden State Warrior Steph Curry. It's a true hero, and we wanted to do it in front of the Rocky, uh, the Rocky statue and the Philadelphia Art Museum steps because it symbolizes what this city is all about, and that is to create great champions like Mark. Well, the award came at a great time for Mark. He celebrated his 40th birthday this weekend. Very nice. Good. Good for him. That's nice. He got what he well deserved in the end. They gave him a medal. They gave him a signed, uh, signed poster of his favorite basketball player. So... Good. He got a little bit of justice out of that. And it says that the people that did that to him got well and truly dealt with, which I like. But to end it, it's, it's horrible that that has to go on in this world. Bullying. Bullying is always wrong. Especially when it's people that cannot fight back. I mean, I know I'm making a living out of bashing people, but there's a big difference to the way I'm bashing people. I'm bashing them for a, for a laugh and because they deserve to be bashed. You know what I'm saying? They're asking to be bashed. They make it easy for me to bash them. But what I'm trying to say is there is a thin line, people. There's a line that even I won't go over. I will not see mentally challenged, disabled people being bashed. It's just not fair. I mean, there's a big difference from mentally challenged people to roasting a 600 pound fatty. She can change the way she is. She was not born 600 pounds. She can get on a diet, she can help herself. But going back to picking on someone that's mentally challenged, it's, it's just not fair and it's not right. You're not gonna get no merit, merits for it and it's not gonna make you look good. Matter of fact, it's gonna make you look fucking pathetic and sad. And it's not on, I will not part with it. And if, if I ever see that on the street, I swear down, I will break my foot off in your fucking fat ass. Tommy out, please be nice to everybody, peace.